Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm making an updated tutorial on how to fix DLL problems. Um, I will probably make specific DLL problems to fix, but uh, right now this one is covering any DLL problem. So first thing you want to know is DLLfiles.com is your main source for everything. They've got the most DLL files out of any other site I've seen. You know, this, um, Bink W32.dll is going to be one of my videos, and as well as Paul.dll, and I already did an xlive.dll. So, as you can see, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to go to my computer, and I'm going to just mess with it. I'm going to delete a dll that uh, and we'll say that it wasn't installed correctly, because that's what would have happened to you. Uh, where is it? Probably Microsoft Games. Oh, there we go. Fable 3. Okay. So, Bink W32 and Paul.dll. Okay, I'm just going to delete uh, Bink W32.dll. And the game will not work without this. So, there, it's gone. But we need that to play the game, right? So you go to this DLL site and you download it. Download. That's the fixer. I did not mean to download that. Um, the fixer works just as well. If you didn't know what the problem was exactly, you download that instead. And right there it gives me the file. So I'm going to drop it back into where I deleted it. Okay. So, there we go. Now my problem's fixed. So if you know exactly where to put the DLL file, then all you need to know is that you need to go to bink32. Uh, I mean, dllfiles.com. <laughs> and basically, so the best way to know where to put your files, okay, so I'm going to say, if you have one of those three DLL problems that I mentioned, most likely you're going to want to go to program files and then you're going to want to know the name of the company that makes the software or the game and and then yeah, you uh you find the folder and basically it's what you installed. So you would have had to just install something and now it's saying it's crapping out on you. It's like, "Oh no, we don't have this DLL." we didn't install it or it's missing or something and so then you just go in there and then you download the DLL you need and you drop it back into the folder it was originally supposed to be in but some of us won't know how to do that so I'm just going to show you how to use the fixer some of you I just showed you the best possible way for those DLLs but if you We'll forget that easily or something. This fixer will help you very much. So basically, yeah, I don't already have it. it. Takes only like a second to install. Actually, that was surprisingly fast, and should just pop up for me. If it doesn't, I will just open it up. I made a nice little shortcut on the desktop. So this is two options. Like these are your two options for recovering DLLs. Um, it's finding my errors automatically, and uh, apparently I have quite a few errors. I can fix them fairly easily myself, so I don't really need this. But whoa, holy crap! Um, but it's it's a great thing for people that are new to that and stuff. So yeah, I hope this helped you. Uh, don't forget to rate it, uh, like it, and subscribe if this helped you because I could really use that. Um, this channel will turn into a gaming channel eventually, but for now, it's all tutorials, so peace out.